like I told you at the top of the show, I think our economy is in better shape than many of the experts would have you believe. The consumer. The, the industrial slowdown is real. I, I'm no denying that. It's weighed down by weakness in the rest of the world. But it's more than being offset by that strong consumer. We know the consumer spending, which is why tonight I want to take a closer look at the most discretionary of discretionaries, the companies that people don't tend to give their money to unless they're feeling really flush. And because I think we need to approach these issues with a quantitative frame of mind rather than just be emotional about it, we're going to go off the charts with the help of Bob Lang. He's the founder of ExplosiveOptions.net, as well as being the brilliant technician the all-star team behind the Street.com's Trifecta Stocks newsletter and the author of Know Your Options to get a better sense of the action in Winnebago, Polaris, Royal Caribbean, and Marriott vacations worldwide. Hey, those are about as discretionary as it gets in motorhomes, cruises, snowmobiles, timeshares. In a strong job market with rising wages, high stock prices, low interest rates, and housing in recovery, Lang thinks these big-ticket discretionary spending plays are the older barometer of the consumer's health. Hey, you know what? I'm sure Prestige King from France, LVMH, had the same thought when it approached Tiffany this weekend with an offer to buy the hallowed high-end jewelry chain. These kinds of stocks only work when the consumer's willing to spend and banks are willing to lend. So how are they doing right now? When Lang looks under the hood, you know what? He sees signs of a very strong economy. So why don't we start with the daily chart of Winnebago, all right, which reported a blowout quarter last week that sent its stock flying. Lang's excited by this rally because it took place on high volume, and for technicians, volume is like a lie detector. The higher it is, the more likely the move is telling the truth. Meanwhile, the on-balance volume line, an indicator that looks like volume flow, adding the volume on up days and subtracting the volume on down days, that's what on-balance volume is, made a big move up, confirming the run. See that? Okay. Uh, from the moment when Winnebago cleared its ceiling of resistance at $40, the stock was ready for a road trip, one that's taken it to 51. Lang points out that the moving average convergence divergence or MACD indicator, and here we are at the bottom, well, that recently flashed a buy signal where the black line crosses above the red one. Okay, you see that cross right there? And the relative strength, or RSI, is as good as it gets. That's really beautiful. Someone says it's a little overbought, but I get the program. Uh, he recommends waiting for a pullback, in part because that's overbought, but uh, then you can back up the truck and buy some more RV. I can't believe how, how well the stock is doing. I mean, Thor should be coming back a little more than it is. Could be interesting. Uh, how about the uh, daily chart of Polaris? Scott Wine makes snowmobiles, all-terrain vehicles, boats. Talk about stuff you don't need. This is another one that reported strong numbers last week. It shot. Uh, it was shooting into the uh, stratosphere right now. Just like Winnebago, the rally happened on big volume. Polaris caught a bullish MACD crossover. So here we go again. There's that crossover, all right, at the beginning of the month. And that's one of the most reliable signals in the chart book. Right now, Lang, Lang says the stock is consolidating its gains at the top of the big candle, all right? Uh, he thinks this pattern is very bullish right here. Point that out. With Polaris above its May highs, it's got a nice new floor of support at $100. How high could it go? The stock's old 2018 high was around $130. You got this floor of support, and he thinks it can go all the way up there. Now, does that intrigue? You option hounds must like it, too. Lang would not be surprised if Polaris gets there in short order because the momentum is strong with this one. All right, here's a little dicey one I asked him to look at it because I'm just kind of depressed about this one group. It's called Royal Caribbean, all right? And it reports in two days. This is a very different picture from Polaris or Winnebago. Royal Caribbean's had a very, very rough time here, but now there's a W pattern forming. That's a classic bottom formation. Looks just like the letter W. And I've got to tell you, uh, I, I, I really want this to work because these guys are great guys, but so far this cruise industry has just been a disaster of late. This one is trading at 112 and change. It's ceiling resistance at the 200-day moving average, currently at 113.77, up a buck and a half from here. If the stock can break out, Lang thinks that it has the makings of a run back to May highs of about 130. So I'm glad I asked about it. If you think I'm right, boom, that could be really significant. Don't forget, the big problem is Caribbean, which whether you think of that, you think of storms. Royal Caribbean still has a lot of work to do, but it, it bounced off the twin lows and the W on, on decent vibe, which suggests the line that the sellers are likely finished. The on-balance volume is improving, as is the relative strength index. That's another key momentum indicator. While Royal Caribbean still has a lot of work to do, Lang sees the momentum shifting to the bulls. It wouldn't take much to get this thing moving again. You've got a couple positives here. Very interesting. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure someone else could say, look at this, Jim. Are you kidding me? But I like what, I like what Bob 
has been saying here. Finally, how about the daily chart of Marriott Vacations Worldwide? That's the timeshare play. This stock has been grinding higher ever since it bottomed in early August, and the MACD indicator is now flashing a buy signal. Now that Marriott Vacations has established a set of higher lows, Lang's betting that this stock it's a $110 stock. It's ready to make a run at last summer's highs. That's around 120 And then perhaps even all-time highs at 150 That may take some time. But as long as the pattern remains bullish, he thinks that's where we're headed. Plus, the on-balance volume is very strong, indicating major institutional buying here. Your on-balance volume, I don't know. To me, it's not as strong as he sees, but, you know, he thinks the big boys are pulling in. He thinks it's got more room to run. I'm not sure. I know it's a very well-run company. But here's the bottom line. The charts as interpreted by Bob Lang suggest that things are looking very good for some of the most discretionary stocks imaginable. Winnebago, Polaris, Marriott Vacations, and Royal Caribbean, perhaps about to turn the corner. These stocks are the only thrive in an environment where the consumer is in great shape. And I think their strength is a fabulous signal that the broader economy may be in better shape then we've been led to believe. So stick with Kramer. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.